Here's the 2-2. Fastball on the low outside corner, called strike three. 13 strikeouts for Tarek Skubal. 13 strikeouts. It was a career high for Tarek Skubal back on July 19th, but in 2019 it was also the number of strikeouts he averaged for every nine innings he pitched. A mark that would have put him behind only Houston Astros Garrett Cole had he been pitching in the major leagues. Which is absurd. You don't, you know, you really don't see that anywhere. Um, and just a big, big, powerful fastball, you know, mid to upper 90s that that no one can really touch. Me and Zoki are always in the outfield. He'll be like the third inning and he hasn't thrown an off-speed pitch. It's just fastball, fastball, fastball. And nobody comes close to touching it. And I, I don't know what it is, but I'm glad he's on my team. So too is the Tigers' front office, which had Skubal pegged for this type of breakout a year ago. Skubal, a left-handed pitcher that we drafted this past year, um, has, has finished up very strong, had a real good year, and, and did some good things in the instruction league that leads us to believe that he's going to have a strong year in 2019. Going back to the draft, and Scott Pleiss and the scouts was uh, very high on Tarek. You know, when you come onto the scene like he did, obviously, you know, people are, or, are always going to question, where did this guy come from? Well, he was a name. He just keeps doing, you know, what he does. He's, he's, he's left-handed, he's athletic, he has three pitches, and he throws strikes with all three of them, which is a recipe for success. And to watch what he has done um, has really been impressive feet, obviously, but it, it's not surprising. The only difference is everyone else in baseball has begun to take notice. To start the season, Scooble, a ninth round pick in 2018, wasn't even recognized on MLB Pipeline's top 30 Tigers prospect list. Now he's number four for the organization, while also charting in at number 74 among MLB's top 100 up-and-comers. I'm just a guy that goes out and likes to compete and likes to put a team in a position to win a game and uh, that's just kind of who I am. I, I'm a competitor. I've got four brothers and we compete in everything. We need to field a starting five in a lineup and go to the pickup courts and play basketball, you know, and I'll play with all of my brothers. But my older brother didn't let me beat him at anything until I could actually do it myself. He'd give me like a 10 to 1 lead in a outdoor basketball hoops and I would lose 11 to 10. <laughs> he would get the ball and then would continue to score 10 straight on me and it just was like Kind of like something I joke around with, but it's like kind of true is uh, growing up, if you wanted to get seconds at dinner, you had to be able to get there first, eat your plate the fastest to get the plate back to the, to the food to get a second. Like, so if you're hungry, you got to eat fast and get back. And that's just like a little thing that you compete about. But like when you do that growing up, like it's something that you've always just competed with. And we would play indoor basketball or wiffle ball or anything. And like, I mean, if you lost, you were very, very upset. So that's just, yeah, that's just something that has happened with how my family is. I mean, it was like a locker room growing up, like a clubhouse. Which obviously translated well when it was time to leave the family home in Kingman, Arizona, and head to Seattle University. I mean, one D1 offer, but I'm really thankful that I went to Seattle University. They've got a great coaching staff. Uh, the guys up there, second to none, pitching coach, head coach. I mean, everybody that I came in contact with there, they had made a big like stamp on my life because they, I mean, they taught me how to go out there and compete and be aggressive. And, just the mentality that I had to adapt to because I'm from a small town. I didn't really understand, you know, and then I go to a big city and now I'm in like Seattle, like Seattle is a big city and now, now I'm playing Division One baseball and they kind of just helped me grow. As well as get to the challenge of Tommy John surgery, which cost Tarek a full season away from the Diamond in 2017. It humbled me really quick. I was starting to have success in college my sophomore year and then I went down with an injury and it humbles you really quick. And there's something different about standing on the mound and actually towing the rubber and, and delivering a pitch to hitters. So that's something that I had to kind of like relearn this last, my last year in college. There's a mental standpoint of just not being too hard on yourself and not trying to be perfect. And knowing that you belong and that you have good enough stuff to play and just letting it play over the plate. I I think that's something that the safety talk I love this game. I love being able to go out and uh, play with your brothers and go to battle with your brothers. If it sounds like Tarek is now right where he belongs, that's because he is with the Tigers. At the end of the day, they've always put me in a position to have success and go out there and compete. And uh, that's, that's all I can ask for.